What's up YouTube, that is all beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always. Welcome, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today what we doing, I'm gonna show you how to take your drum program from just one track and bring it each individual pad to a track. All right, so that's what we're doing today because somebody asked me how to do it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to take each drum. If everything is in the drum program, like your kick, clap, snare, everything, I'm going to show you how to take that after you finish and then bring it all on their own separate track. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. That's what we're doing today. All right, let's go. Let's get it. All right, so now we inside the MPC, right? So here go a drum program right here. All right, so that's the drum program. We have more sounds than everything, right? But we're not going to use everything. This is just for information purpose, right? So right here is your drum track. You're on your drum track. You select one of your drum programs and you put it on, right? If you don't see it, you'll have to hit this drop down menu and select the drum program that you created from over here. All right, so this is the one we created. So let's just create something real fast just to get it going. Alright, so that's it. We're going to stop right there, alright? So we have our drum, we have our snare, we have our hi-hats, and we have some kind of um, hat slash whatever it is, alright? So what you want to do after you create your drum program and you create your track and you create everything, what you need to do, right, is go to, um, if, you're on the, if you're actually on the hardware, an MPC hardware, where the track is at because it's separated in three you have your sequence at top you have your track in the middle and you have your program at the bottom what you want to do you're on the track you'll go to your pencil icon over there on the right hand side you'll hit the pencil and then hit explode once you hit explode it will go to let's go ahead and do it once we hit explode you notice nothing happened but if you drop your right here all of them is right here on individual tracks but make sure before you do anything else that that number one track that you created remember to delete that track because if you don't delete it then it will um make the other tracks sound weird so what i normally do is hit the pencil icon and just go to clear while i'm on the same track all right let's cancel that let's undo let's undo Let's see if it undo everything. Yup, it undo it. All right. So, what we going? Let's go back to our track one. Right, let's let me redo it. Let me make sure y'all see it. Let me redo it. Edit, redo. All right. Let me redo. Edit, redo. Let's see if it went over. Nope. Edit redo let's see all right there we go all right so now you'll see right here is the kick see the kick is on his own track on track two then you'll go to the snare the snare is on his own track then you'll go to track four which was 
what was this? It's, it's like a hat slash percussion sound, right? Then you'll go to your five, and that was my hi-hat. So everything now is on an individual track. All right, so let's undo. Let's go back to track one. So you see everything is gone, right? So if you don't have a hardware, this is how you do it without having a hardware. You want to come up here while you're on your track, right? You'll come here. You'll go to um, edit. Then you'll go to track. And then you'll go to explode. Once you hit explode, it's the same way as doing it on the hardware. Now, you check it out. See, it's there on, on a separate track by itself. Separate track again by itself. Separate track by itself. So that's how you do it. That's how you take your drum program after you create everything. The drum, clap, snare, hi-hat, percussion, rims, whatever, right? You'll want to go to, on the inside the software, you want to go to edit track explode and on the hardware you want to go to the pencil icon and just hit explode on your track okay so that's it for today man that's all i wanted to show you let's go let's get it i like to help people man and listen if you have a question or something man just ask some people might try to say oh man you should know listen if you don't know you don't know and the best way to find out is to ask somebody that do know i'm all for asking questions of you know trying to figure out something i'm all about asking how to do it how to do it and if somebody know it and want to share the knowledge then that's it if you don't want to share the knowledge then you move on to somebody else and ask them the question all right so thank you all for sharing and Watching the videos, man, I appreciate it all, man. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget, turn it up. Let's go.